Hey guys, been promising for a long time I would make a diet video and I got a whole bunch of footage together, put the video together, tried to cut it and it was like 15 minutes long and that's just too long of a video and so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do a couple of uh, nutritional um, commentaries here but I'm going to make them shorter. Uh, I'm going to start off by um, showing you my first thing that I I guess drink every morning. This is this is I call it the shake. Um, got my old school blender, 20 ounces of uh, skim milk and a half cup of egg beaters. And um, this is just what I. This is the first thing I do to 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 get calories in my body after sleeping. Um, a few weeks ago, I started really getting focused into my diet. And so, like I've been promising people, I'm just going to let you guys into what I've been doing. Uh, my macro breakdown, taking in about 380 grams of protein a day, 260 grams of carbohydrates, and 170 grams of fat. Uh, most of the fat comes from things like um, the peanut butter, almond butter, uh, fish, and uh, red meat. I'm not taking in a whole lot of... Um, a whole lot of fats from other from other sources. Those are pretty much it. Most of my carbohydrates come from dairy products, and most of my protein is just anything I can get with protein in it. Uh, it's a little over 4,000 kcals a day, and um, I dig it. It's been really helping my strength. Uh, my energy levels are really high. Uh, I've been leaning out too, which is most people are getting surprised when I tell them, tell them that because I'm taking in 170 170 grams of fat a day, which seems like a lot, but uh, it's been working for me. While I've been talking about that, I threw in a banana and about three tablespoons of peanut butter, only two scoops, but they were pretty big scoops. And then uh, two scoops of this Universal Pro Whey, which is probably my favorite Universal product. I like their protein powders. I think it tastes good. It's the cookies and cream flavor, and it is delicious. Uh, I get into the fridge or in the freezer and pull out my ice cube tray, usually about five or six ice cubes. Um, just to give it a little bit more texture and to cool it down. And then you blend it on my retro blender. I've had a lot of blenders. That's probably my favorite blender that I've ever had. It just gets the job done. Rec shop. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much how I start my day. I'm going to make a few more of these with some other meals, um, my eating isn't always consistent every single day. I aim for those numbers, but I am not... Uh, it's not the end-all, be-all if I miss one or if I overdo something. I try really hard to make sure I get enough protein, the other two numbers. Um, if I go over a little bit or if I'm under a little bit, it's not the end of the world. It's because I'm not trying to bodybuild. I don't have to be as exact with those particular aspects. But a quick macro breakdown of this... Um, all put together, it ends up being about 913 calories, uh, 27 grams of fat, about 77 carbohydrates, and about 91 grams from protein. So uh, it's a pretty good shake for the morning, and it gets me going. And I will be making a few more of these in the next over the next few days, next couple of weeks, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let me know what you think. And uh, if you'd like me to do this differently, I'm not quite sure how to go about it. So go ahead and hit me up with that feedback. I will see you next time. Bye.